Greetings fellow gamers. <laughs> Different introduction than you See, used to. Uh, I know. Taking a little bitty break from Fallout 76 uh, to kind of just See do a little, little re-exploration of one of my old school favorite Bethesda games, Skyrim. And uh... See. Got some goodies here. This is a mo. Uh, this is a mod called Helgen Chest. Just so you know, some decent stuff in here. I have really no need for any of those things, but the uh, those Nord arrows are very good for starting with, for sure. Uh, War horns, just nothing. Okay. Are these chests have some armor for you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, Hadvar. I always start off with Hadvar because. I like um, having access to that um, house gonna get that armor on. better get that. than uh, Rayloff's. So you just start off with some better gear with Hadvar, I think, in my opinion, anyways. What if you swing too? Let's keep moving. And uh, one of the things I was interested in, so I, I, you know, as I, as you know, I play on uh, PS5 and Xbox S. Xbox has obviously dramatically better mods to the PlayStation, but um, something I've been researching recently is that Xbox is far less secure than PlayStation. Uh, much on, more vulnerable way. to threats, which is kind of, you know, one of the reasons, one of the number of reasons why I've been playing it less and I've been on the PlayStation more. So the next question, though, is with the limited mods that the PlayStation has, can we really have a next-gen experience in a game as old as Skyrim? Cloaks. Maybe well, we can reason I them. did download a number of some of my favorite mods. Let's see how it all stacks up in the end here. Hold on now. What was the only one to? Over here, you want to die? Help me. Whoops. Sorry, I had one. All right. That'll be shit across me. A decent amount of gore there, I would say. for me that I want anyways. Well, I guess I'll take your Curus and I'll put these on for sure. So, nice new uh, new, new uh, coloring for the undies there. Same thing with it for the guys. Okay. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the War Axe. More powerful weapon. Come on, this way. Yeah, yeah, okay. If you're interested later, I mean, like, look at this. This is actually looking really good. Really good. Um, for an older game. So if you're interested in the mods I'm using, I'll definitely have to share that later. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up PC. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen, now! These Imperials have potions in here. We're going to need them. Is someone there? Man, catch us alive! Thanks, pal. An old store room. See if you can find some potions. Might come in handy. I always go after the garlic. Oops. Whatever. Garlic's got some really good uses. Find it here. Salt, magica, okay. <laughs> and of course, here. And one more here. All right. Done then. This way. Yep. Yeah, this place is looking really cool. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need these. You hear that? Come on. Damn. We took them down, no problem. happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Yes, Don't yes, okay, creepy dude. On? A dragon is attacking Helga. Ooh. Lockpick, there we a go. A dragon. Please. Don't yeah, make we'll up take nonsense. Take the book of the Dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And uh, more lock picks. Oh, they'll come so we can come over here and grab this. Here some... uh, yep. 
a Bethesda, a Bethesda staple lock picking, you know. And he's got some spells on him too. Cool. And of course, these outfits will come in Help handy. Us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me. Uh, I'm gonna grab the gold too. Jim, do you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget the old man. I'll come with you. Shoot. Okay. Take well, let's go. Favors. Grab what you can and let's go. Yeah, we're all good, Hadvar. Let's. Uh, how about There's you go? No uh, never mind. I'll go. You can stay back there and wait for a uh, creepy dude. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay. Wow. This is intense. This is awesome. So much better than vanilla. So much better. This is amazing. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Oh, here we go. You need to do better than that. Yeah. Oh. Well, that All right. That was cool. Lucky shit. I was gonna say, let me have a shot at him, but okay. Nah, I don't like not like the great swords. Two handed, too slow. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. Uh huh. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. All right, and now what I do is hook a quick left over here. A couple quick things to grab. Some gold. Not that I'm gonna need it, but because uh, one of the things I downloaded, of course, was the uh, the cheap room. So I'll be checking that out once we enter uh, Weaverwood. So far, yeah, this, this is really intense. Really good looking graphics here for a uh, game. That doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. And I'm sure if you're from, if you're more familiar with the Vanilla, what we call Vanilla or unmodded Skyrim, I'm sure your jaw is dropping. You're looking at this, saying, "Holy crap!" Now I see why they use mods. Yeah really enhances the whole experience and gives a lot of life to an old game. What next, giant snakes? Unfortunately, no. It's something Skyrim does not have. Ever. Alright, come on, Edward. Let's go. Now, a lot of people say that you can level Hold up, up quick. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling up. lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go Bad ahead. Here. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. See? So this this is a old trick. 
that every, you know, not everybody, but a lot of people have learned is uh, it's a great way to level up yourself. And eventually one-handed too. That'll eventually start kicking up as well. I mean, if you're really patient and you want to just keep doing this, you can, uh, yeah, you can do it. But uh, for the sake of this oops, particular video, we're going to just take what we got and run. Speaking of which, character I'm playing is based on my Easy does hero it. in Ivan, the Chronicles of Maul, Ivan, so Ivan's kind of a... <sighs> that was close. I mean, he's a hunter and he's a warrior, but he, he's not really into killing predators. Um, in fact, killing bears and wolves um, for sport is forbidden in, uh, in ancient Norse custom because bears and wolves were looked at as, uh, as um, this looks spirits. This like the way out. I was starting spirits to of the uh, of nature, and they were revered as such. Now, obviously, um, you know you can kill a bear for food, which I wouldn't because they're disgusting, very greasy, nasty, gamey. No thanks to survival mode, Wait. but so look at this! Look at this! Looks like he's gone for good this time, but I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. This is really cool. This is really cool. Look at this. This is nice. Listen. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves rich. a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Live, vibrant, plus the enhanced sounds too. This is really cool. And if it looks this nice, can't wait to see Riverwood, right? new game. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. People now, like... I admit, I still don't much like oh, the look of it. Oh, if you have mods on, you can't get any trophies, bro. I already platinum this. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just having fun. And I'm just really enjoying these new visuals. Now I can go nature hiking without worrying about getting eaten by ticks out here in the real world. These are the Guardian Stones. But then, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that Skyrim Skyrim's landscape. It's not the real world. Go ahead, see for yourself. And this is the fake world. I always go with the warrior. I mean, why not? Warrior, good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Especially since starting off, you know, you're going to be doing a lot more hand-to-hand -hand fighting than anything else anyways. So it's not like you have all the best spells yet or anything like that. Or see no use for the heat stone, so warrior works. Now, I'm not sure if the wolves are going to attack as us. as far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your point. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, 
Just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers. The water with any complications, amazing, right? All right. It's awesome. Yeah, usually some wolves somewhere up that way. Oh, yep, I can hear them. Are they coming to get us? Yes, they're coming to get us. <laughs> Only reason I killed them. Is no one's gonna kill us. At least not one, not those cults. Honor their lives. I'm I glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Yeah, buddy. I may shut off the um, footsteps Who's at there? one point. What? what? Now you're mine. Come on! Trademark iron helmet to match everything. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is incredible. Uncle Alva, hello. All you modders are amazing. What are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Shh, Are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, it's going to tell me who is. And I've got better things to do than this. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. And it's cool, Thor. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy, what's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a scold. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's... Ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. 
Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Alright, what we got here? Some cheese. I'll take the honey brew. Turn in, get log pick. Okay, regular mead. Nah. Sweet Nordic ring. Yeah, I'll take those. Da 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 da. And some. Oh, five points of health. Okay. Why not? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, how do I get to White Run from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Alright, exit out of that. Hadvar, did you really see a dragon? Okay, now what I usually do is jump over here. Because these two quests kind of uh, correlate with each other. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Back outside. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking. Yeah, well, I don't know what you... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. No, I... No, by the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Yikes. I just realized... We have to go through town and across the bridge the famous, to get to Bleak Falls uh, Barrow. I heard of it. You can see it from here, though. Those the mountain boys. just over the buildings. Uh, Those girders thieves must okay. be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing you, but friend. traps, May trolls, you die with and who knows what else. Hands. I hope not too many other characters are that badly affected. I probably should have left the NPC. Uh, odds alone, but I was hoping Taylor's measure still worked. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Luke but, found the no, claw about Taylor's a year after you opened the store. That mod's you completely gone. It was an awesome mod went. that allowed you to one. change your, all the NPCs' outfits. Um, granted, you only had like a, a limited choice of what you could put them in, but you know, still had usually a lot more options just for variety. But, anyways, look at all these textures. Look at it, you know, just a, everything. Really, really awesome. I mean, undead Camille here is not so awesome, but everything else, you know, we'll, we'll kind of we'll have to work with that, I guess. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. Uh -huh. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. There are some bug fix mods that you can get, but I find that those often make things even worse. So, I'll just leave it alone. Now let's just hop up here. 
I love having this super jump. Just be careful because uh, it also could result in a super injury from your thing. If you jump too high. So watch out for that. So hop up here. Now. That way, but first we're just gonna pick off a couple of bandits here and see if they've got anything that I want. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Damn. How are you able to swing that thing so fast? Never mind. He's got some leather scout armor, that's some good stuff. Scout boots, sure. should be a mod available somewhere that eliminates fall damage. I might have to find that one later. Hopefully it's still around. Obviously a lot of these modders that first made some of these mods are no longer modding. They're gone. So updates after Anniversary Edition came out and made some of these mods not work. They never got updated. That's what happened to Taylor's Measure. It got broken and apparently the creator of the mod wasn't around to fix it. No, no one else bothered to try. It's too bad, it was fun. I'm just gonna stay in stealth mode here. You know what? How about... Oh wait, no, we want those, see? Those are 24 damage versus 8. Duh. Um, longbow is 6. Hunting bow is 8. We'll go with that. Should be some. Oh, yeah, you see those little red dots? Yeah, that's where the bad guys are. Bandits again. Oh, how the hell do you know where I am? Who cares? Off, really?
how quick those load times are. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. You're dead. That's a mod too, by the way. They don't normally have hearts. <laughs> well, not that you can loot anyways. But these hearts will come in handy for some content from a mod I downloaded called Vampire Knights, which is awesome, by the way. Highly recommend. Need the hearts to make, uh, special type of black steel. Telling these places is really kicked up. Got another stealth boost, nice. Okay, we want snake, snake, whale. Sweet. Paralysis boy. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, Hot Near? Bjorn! Soling! I know I ran ahead of the fall, but I need help. I kill this thing with an arrow or should I burn it? Let's try the fire method.
Keep it away from me! Don't let it get me! Help! Beautiful. Got it. And we're still alive. Although we're hurting. Got bear moth owl. Got it. Uh huh. Take that too. All right. Now let's go equip our long or rather our hunting bow again. Now we've got some Draugr we got to take care of. Oops. Yes. Take a seat. There's another one right there. Nothing against picking the pockets of the dead. Let's level up. Leveling up, yes. Obviously, we've got one health for right now. Sweet. Now, let's move on. Archery and our one handed and our light armor and our sneak. That works. Time to do a sneak attack. You gain sneak attack experience or stealth experience, rather. Just got to be careful here. You don't want to set that oil on fire. It gets nasty. Nasty hot. Uh oh. Bodies of Bethesda quality experience. This place is pretty awesome, though. Like I said, for, for the limited assets the modders have, they 
they really go all out. in now we're gonna fight that draugr at the end that's about all we'll have time to do here grab a couple of those on the way there should be up yep, troll skull i like that for trophies there is a mod where uh you can get skulls from killed slain trolls um like a trophy mod I have no reservations against killing trolls. Troll lives do not matter whatsoever. In fact, we should have a bounty on the head of every troll. to fight first or is it going to go right into the main chamber? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, a bunch more droggers to fight. This will help. That, uh, that shot just pretty much took out everybody here, so that's cool. Just gonna hop right over that. Not gonna touch that fire pot, don't wanna make any more explosions. There we go. Let's take a look at that uh, claw again since I already forgot. Bear, Moth, Owl, got it, okay. You could also learn that by reading these silly things, but why bother? take this first guy out, or, well, the last guy in this place, actually. I always go with the fireball scrolls. Those, those things will finish them off. Back here, there's a chest. 
chest. mod so that I can actually make some money off these guys. Alright, you gotta learn to shout first. And now the dragger's gonna come out, so... Smack with the fireballs and it should be the end of that. Dragonstone. We're gonna take that to Faranga. At, uh, what you call it? Nelson there. Every time I open these, I expect that beacon of Meridia to be in there. <laughs> this is too soon, though. And, uh, wow, okay. So let's take one more look. All right, pretty awesome. And look at this. Very cool tunnel. Heading on our way out. Anything else we want? Do not see that in vanilla. Nope. Nope. That's freaking phenomenal. Look at that moon. Oh, man. This is beautiful. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Is it over here? Uh, I guess not. I have no idea. I can't see anything anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, oops. Now we're going to fast travel back to Riverwood. Load super quick. I've been looking for you. Oh, Got no. something I'm supposed to deliver. Already? Ends only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh huh. Thanks. What the hell did you give me? Remember for our wastelands loony bin. Oh, crap. It's nighttime. Well, uh, does Albert have a chair? Yeah, he does. Hey, that's right. I can take all these things too, because yeah, this is why I like siding with him. You get a lot more out of it. That was just lying around? Good find. See what business it is of yours. Get the hell out of here. Bye. Right, I'm just going to grab a seat here. And, uh...
you could wait this game. Guess not. Huh. That's annoying. Guess I'm gonna have to take a nap then. Where you could wait. Or so this is a new Lydia lookalike. Are you listening? Need something. Um, Lydia yes? the Strong. There's a, the there's a mod for that bad. too. To and uh, she's pretty pretty badass looking, right? And then there. Did you hear mm, me? Yep. Alia. Oh my. It's so good to see you again. Yes, darling. Let's make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Yes. This will definitely be my spouse later. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous Sadia, but a lot nicer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Okay. So, uh, all right, let's get this. What the? We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I got nothing useful mm -hmm. to sell. Can I wait here? Is that what I can do? Save while we're at it. Hey, hands off. Uh oh. Why, you little filcher! I didn't mean to do that. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. All right then. Crap. Uh, never mind. You're that visitor, Ben. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Oh God, she's got the gray face bug too. Oh man. Now, well, looks like there's a mod I'm gonna have to get rid of later. Oh, that's not the bet I want. Okay. Eight o'clock is when everybody starts opening up, roughly. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla the yeah, whatever, buddy. Camilla's you not look looking like a these days. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. There we go. All right. Get this out of the way. The sooner you find the claw, I have the golden you claw. Found it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. So much for taking care of those thieves. Four hundred. The Riverwood nice. Trader is back to the way it used to be. All right. Well, I guess you know what. You've been with me this long. Let's uh, let's take a quick run over to uh, White Run. Nope. Sorry. Oh. Nothing. Sorry, we're out of time. Well, appreciate you joining me here on this adventure. Hope you've enjoyed it. Anyways, um, next time maybe we'll show you some White Run, right? Um, actually, no. I'll probably be back in Fallout 76. But hey, this has uh, still been an exciting adventure, and uh, yeah, it's, this is looking phenomenal, phenomenal. You know, for for PS5 with no outside ac assets, this is damn good. This if this doesn't make you want to jump back into Skyrim, I don't know what would. So, enjoy. Until the next adventure.